Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another fragrance review. This time we're going to be checking out the newest fragrance from Gucci, and this one is Gucci Guilty Cologne. So a few of you knew that I got my hands on this one here recently because I included this in my weekly fragrance rotation video a few days ago. And so now I've been wearing it, been testing it, and I'm finally ready to do a full review on the scent. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it, if it's worth picking up here in 2019, uh, because this one is a little bit different. This is not uh, what a lot of you are probably gonna be expecting from a cologne type of scent, and you know, especially in line with a lot of the new releases here lately. So I'm excited to finally get my thoughts out on this one. And I'm also curious to hear what you guys think of this one down below if you've tried it. So let's go and jump right into the review, starting off with the smell. The first time I ever sprayed this one on, I was kind of taken off guard. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Uh, in the opening of this one, there's a lot of juniper berries, there's some cypress, and some bergamot. And the juniper berries gives it a little bit of a sweetness. That bergamot, of course, gives it a little bit of a citrus blast. And the cypress gives it this kind of like woody and airy quality. There's also violet, and that note is used in a lot of the Dior Fahrenheit fragrances. So those of you who are familiar with those, you're gonna pick up on the violet in this one pretty much right away. That's pretty prominent as well. And it is pretty interesting in the opening. If you noticed, a lot of those notes there that I just mentioned aren't really um, a lot of notes that are used all that often here recently. Um, definitely a very different smelling fragrance right from the beginning. It's got just a little bit of a mature quality. This is definitely nothing that smells very young and very like fun, you know, that type of summer fragrance, just a little bit more in the mature direction. Uh, but this is something different and that's something that I can really respect. I really respect Gucci here uh, for trying to do something that is different than a lot of the other fragrance releases here lately. With that being said, this is also not gonna be something that I think everyone is going to like. Uh, Cause for me personally, the first time I smelled it, I liked it, but I was still kind of like, mm, you know, what is that? Uh, I wasn't really fully sure what I was smelling. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. Some people are gonna love this and some people probably are gonna hate this. For me personally, I'm kind of right there in the middle. I like it, um, I don't necessarily love it. As it kind of starts to settle down on my skin after a few minutes working into the mid, I pick up on this like powdery smell. I'm not sure if that is from like the juniper berries or something like that, but there's something that gives it a little bit of like a powdery overall feel. Powderiness is kind of underlying in the background. It's not like a full on powdery scent like Jerome Intense or something like that where it's very powdery. It's just kind of there in the background and honestly I don't mind it. It is kind of odd though especially in a summer fragrance and a cologne fragrance here like this and when you look at this scent you're expecting it to be uh, very fresh, citrusy, and probably very green. Um, and this is pretty green but it is also very woody and again it does have that powdery touch that I mentioned. Working into the dry down I start to pick up on just a little bit of patchouli not very much though, so if you're someone who isn't a fan of patchouli, don't be too alarmed because it's not overboard. Those of you who love that note, um, you might be disappointed that it's not stronger than what it is, but it is there and it does add to the overall composition of the scent. Along with that, I get a lot more of a woodiness in the dry down. Again, the juniper berries, the cypress, uh, some musk is still very present. And honestly, again, it just kind of throws me off because this is a cologne scent but it's not really overly like fresh and citrusy like I was expecting. I've also noticed that as it continues into the dry down, that powdery accord gets a little bit stronger as time goes on. It's not overboard, but it does get a little bit more prominent as the fragrance dries down. So overall, my thoughts on the scent, again, I like it. Is this something that I'm personally gonna be wearing? Probably not a whole lot. I don't see myself reaching for this one that often. That's not to say that this is a bad fragrance or anything like that, but it just isn't something that really clicks with me. It's a little bit powdery, it's woody, it's got a little bit of a medicinal feel, especially in the opening. Overall, the scent really just isn't me. It's not really my style, it's not my taste. I do like it, I do appreciate it, and I'm really glad that they did do something different here with this one. It's just not something that I'm gonna be wearing all that often. So one thing I wanna to touch on before we get into the rest of the review is these actually don't come filled to the top. So as you can see here, if we get some focus, there is a little gap. I haven't actually worn that much of it. I've been wearing it pretty consistently, but not you know for that long to put that type of dent in it. So that's just something to be aware of if you pick up a bottle, like for example from chaosfragrances.com. I do carry this on my website. You can pick it up there for a pretty solid price, especially considering this is still a new scent. I've got free shipping on orders over $35, so you'll be able to pick this one up and you know have it shipped to your door for free. So go check it out there. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, even if you look up pictures of it online, 
you can see that it's not filled to the top and that's how all of these Gucci's are in this type of bottle. So that's just something to be aware of. So if you pick one of these up, again, either from my website or just wherever else, uh, it's not gonna come filled to the top. So that's not something to worry about. Let's talk about performance on this one. Longevity, I'm getting about six hours or so on my skin. And honestly, that's not bad, especially for a cologne scent like this. Typically, they don't last long. And you'd be lucky to get six hours on some other cologne type scents. Uh, so this is honestly pretty good. Um, pretty much right in that moderate range. You know, it's not bad but it's not necessarily great either. Projection is pretty soft. It does sit closer to my skin, uh, which isn't a huge deal. Again, this type of scent really isn't one that's supposed to push out a whole lot. If you wear it outside in the heat, it's probably gonna project out more than when you're wearing it indoors in like the cool air. So performance overall is solid. It's definitely nothing to write home about. You know, this isn't one of those types of scents where, you know, the performance is so good that you buy it mainly for that. Uh, performance is just okay. Really, when you're buying the scent, you're gonna be buying it uh, for the fact that if you really like the scent or not. So when can you wear this one? More of a spring and summer fragrance. Um, this one, again, is a little bit sweet, a little bit powdery, a little bit woody not gonna be the best for really, really high summer heat. So for example, here where I am right now, but in spring when there's a little bit of a chill in the air, this one will work really good. That chilliness would kind of tame this out a little bit, tame the sweetness, and it would work good in spring. But again, for me personally, for summer, not one that I'm gonna be wearing. Really, it's a good daytime scent. You could wear it out uh, doing errands or going to work or doing whatever, just casual stuff like that in the daytime. I wouldn't really wear this on a date. I wouldn't really wear this to a dinner out. Again, this is a cologne scent. And I know I've been saying that a lot, but I'm just, you know, trying to reiterate here. It's meant to be a daytime scent for, you know, casual stuff. It's meant to be, you know, a moderate performing scent. You know, this isn't like a lot of their other fragrances like Gucci Guilty Absolute, for example, that's very strong and very different. Again, this one is supposed to just be a light, kind of fresh, easy to wear scent for the daytime and warm weather. Compliments wise, you know, this one is gonna be a little bit iffy. If you're looking for a scent and all you really care about is compliments, I'm just gonna say to go ahead and pass on this one. I mean, it's just not gonna be that good of a compliment getter for you. There are tons of other fragrances out there that are gonna do way better than this one is. And again, that doesn't make this a bad scent. It's just that this is different. This is something that a lot of people haven't smelled before and they're probably gonna just be kind of like, you know, what is that? Kind of similar to how I reacted when I first smelled it. So again, if you're looking for compliments, don't, don't get this one, just check something else out. If you're looking for a nice, unique, fresh scent, something that's different, something that you haven't really smelled before and just something that's kind of out of the normal, definitely check this one out. Would I recommend you blind buy it? I probably wouldn't. I would definitely gr grab a sample first. I would go to Macy's and pick one up or buy one online or do whatever. Would not recommend blind buying this one unless you are you know, really confident in your blind buying abilities. If you look at the notes and think, ooh, I like that. If you wanna blind buy it, then go for it. But I would say for most of you out there, I probably wouldn't. And one thing that I like to do when it comes to judging fragrances is, you know, I'll smell it and I'll be like, is this something that I would repurchase or buy again if I ran out of it? And the answer for me for this one is no. I probably wouldn't buy this one again. Like I said earlier in the review, I do plan on keeping this bottle, but if for whatever reason I was to sell it or, you know, decant most of it out, I'm probably not gonna buy another bottle just because it's not something I'm gonna wear that often. So I kind of encourage you to do the same thing as well when it comes to testing out fragrances. If you get a sample of it, you know, spray it on it, think, you know, would I buy this? Would I spend, you know, $70, $80 on the scent? Because right now it is a little bit more pricey because it is new. Uh, over time, it will go down a little bit. But that's just something you kind of have to make the decision for yourself. So my final thoughts on this one, I like it. Uh, I am glad that they did something different here. It was refreshing to, you know, pick something new up, spray it on and not be reminded of a lot of other fragrances, right? Because I'm sure a lot of us are tired of that. We've been having a lot of that here lately. So it was refreshing to have something different. However, for me, it just, just isn't my style. I'm sure a few of you out there are really gonna like this one and that's awesome if you do. This would be a really good signature scent for the warm weather, for the people who really like it. Just for me, it doesn't work. So that's pretty much my review on Gucci Guilty Cologne. Like I said, I got this one on my website, chaosfragrances.com. You can check it out there. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna be getting some more reviews out on some newer fragrances. I've got quite a few coming, so make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm trying to bring some new different stuff to the channel, and I'm excited for it. I'm excited to cover some new stuff. Hopefully you guys are as well. Like I said, let me know down below what you think of Gucci Guilty Cologne. 
And also, let me know if you want me to pick up any other different releases. Again, I do have a few of them coming, uh, but comment down below uh, what fragrances you want me to review, and I'll check those out. And that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like, turn on post notifications so you don't miss my post, and subscribe. I'm pretty sure I messed up the whole order of that, but that's all right. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.